Hello everyone. In this video, I will be talking about how you can use scriptable objects to save data between scenes. Scriptable object is a class that lets you create objects that you don't need to attach to a game object. Scriptable objects are primarily used as data containers. So they are useful in cases when you want to separate the code from data. They provide a very nice interface of interacting with your saved data and you can directly edit the data value stored in a scriptable object in the default unity inspector. If you want to know more about scriptable objects and how they are implemented inside unity and also about what is the importance of separating data from code, I suggest you to please check my video on scriptable objects whose link will be in the description below. Since scriptable objects are assets, the data stored in scriptable objects is preserved by default during a scene load. And this property of scriptable object is what I will use now to save data between scenes. We will have the exact same setup as our previous videos. We have a scene where we input our desired value and save it. And in the next scene, which is the data retrieve scene, we will try to retrieve that saved data. In order to create a scriptable object as a data container, we first need to create a normal script. Let's name it SO data, SO for scriptable object. And to create this normal script into a scriptable object script, what we need to do is first derive this class from scriptable object class instead of the normal mono behavior class. So we'll remove mono behavior and write scriptable object. And the next thing that we want to do is add the attribute create asset menu, which will give us a shortcut of creating an asset of this scriptable object type. And the asset is what stores that data and acts as a data container. Once we have our scriptable object, we would want to populate it with the data types that we want to save. So in this demonstration, I'm only saving a float. So I can write public float saved value. And now coming to the unity scene, I will create a asset of the scriptable object type. So to create the scriptable object, you can either right click inside your project folder or directly click on the create button. Then Unity will automatically due to the attribute that we have just added above our scriptable object class will create a button inside your create menu. And you can click on our SO data which is our scriptable object class. And we can name it anything. Let's name it SO save and here you can see that this so values are also editable directly inside your unity inspector now this saved value float is the variable onto which you are going to save your value and from this variable you are also going to extract the value in the next scene but contrary to our previous videos where the singleton and the static they all had a global access point so any script can directly access those variables because they were static and global. But in the case of this scriptable object, they are not always either in a part of a single or a static file. So you will need to get a reference to this scriptable object. And to get a reference to the scriptable object, you only have to make a public variable of the scriptable object type. So in order to get a reference, to this scriptable object in my script value getter, I will need to make a public variable and its type should be SO data, which is the type of my scriptable object which I just created. We can name it whatever we want. And once we have a reference of the scriptable object, we can directly access its variable using the dot notation. So instead of writing this, which was the case for our singleton, we will write so data and get the value from the saved value variable which is stored in our so now coming to our 
value setter function here we also need a reference of our so data so means scriptable object so we'll make a new public variable so data and here we were setting the value from the value which we got from the input and instead of setting it on the singleton we will just set it in our scriptable object this is all the thing that was needed to use a scriptable object to pass data between scenes now the only thing left here is to give these uh, scripts a reference to the scriptable object same in our data save scene we will get value setter a reference to our scriptable object now since both of them have the reference let's check it by going into the play mode just uh, see how the value changes on the scriptable object so let's input 5 and set the value you can see the value in the scriptable object changes as i set it set it using my value setter function now i can press x to go into the next scene and you will see how the scriptable object preserves its value and since the value is preserved my value getter function is directly getting the value which is at the saved value variable of my scriptable object i can again go back to the same scene make a change to the set value come back here and the value will be correctly shown some points to note here is that since scriptable objects are mainly used as data containers so saving data directly on a scriptable object is a better way to pass data instead of saving it on a singleton whose primary job is to act as a manager type of uh, game manager or score manager type of things in your game other point is that any data that is currently being uh, saved on your scriptable object is directly visible and very easy to edit for your designers in your default unity inspector the third point is that the scriptable object will only save your data in your single game session so if you uh, change your data between run time and close the game then the data will be reset to the value which was at the game start so you can't use scriptable objects to save data permanently